Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to um, tell you guys I've been doing some experimenting with a couple different products. Um, this book is the Diane Reevely journal. Oops, I'm knocking everything over. I'm doing this with one hand, so please pardon me. Um, I put a mermaid in it. I wanted, I knew, I mean, I, we know this is cardstock paper, but it takes her inks really well. And so I was curious to see how it would handle, handle watercolors. So the absorption and stuff of water and inks isn't the problem. It's the texture of the paper that just doesn't take watercolors where you want them to go. Per se. I mean, that's, I've got something on this. Um, it is uh, Daniel Steele's watercolor ground in a fluorescent or a pearlescent white. Um, so it has shine to it, which, okay. <clears throat> um, anyways, I have to pick out a color for her dress. Right now it's just that watercolor ground pearlescent white. I accidentally got something on there. Anyways, moving on. It's just a journal. I'm not making some kind of art piece. Now, what I did do is I've had these Fab... How do you say it? Faber? Castell Gelatos for a really long time. They have been in a box on my desk. I've tried to use them before, but I don't make really cards. I don't do all these things that people do. I just like to journal, but I just never was able to incorporate them into my journal. I don't know why. I just didn't feel comfortable or have any drive to, so they've been in a box. Well, I found a reason to use them tonight. I took the pink. Is this pink? Hmm... Does it say colors? Stardust. Okay, so this is, is that focusing? Stardust. And I got some definition in the hair by rubbing some of that in. I also used, which these have been sitting here forever, the Distress Crayons by Tim Holtz, Spun Sugar. I tried to use these before. I was trying to make stuff. I wasn't feeling it. I'm just like, you know, I don't know what to do with all of these. So I put them away and now I have a huge reason to do use them. So I used the Distress Crayon and I used the Faber Castell, if that's how you sell it. It's Faber. It's either Faber or Faber. I don't know. Castell. So I use that to give some definition to the hair. I also use the Faber Castell for a little bit of eye makeup. Um, I took a Posca pen, gold metallic, to put in some uh, dots in the hair. And then the white, I'm not sure how or why I put all my pins away. Um, is the Sharpie paint pen, which this is one of my favorites. Um, I love the Posca too, but this is one of my favorites. Um, so I've used all of that. This is a watercolor by Artist Loft. They're very cheap um, watercolor paints, but I wanted to actually make, what did Jane Davenport say? Spray inks out of, I definitely wasn't going to use any of my good water color and they have to be a liquid out of the tube. So I need to order some little BBs or whatever from Amazon so I can put them in the bottles to shake them up and make some awesome spray inks. Um, so I'm waiting for that and I'll show you guys that when I get there to do it. Um, but anyway, so this is the watercolor paint. Underneath it, why it has this, you can see this kind of weird texturing and stuff. It is a 
uh, watercolor ground and I didn't know that it was pearlescent so I'm kind of bummed about that in a sense but then I'm not because now I can make all my mermaid hair pearlescent which what mermaid doesn't have pearlescent hair really come on guys that's like awesome so I'll be able to use it for um, things like that so I just wanted to update you guys and show you what I'm up to right now. Yes, I started a new, a brand new journal. Yes, I went on to a new art project. No, I did not finish the other ones I showed you guys earlier. I wanted to test out some of my art supplies that I haven't used that are just sitting here for no good reason. And uh, I'm not done with this picture. I say that all the time. But I just wanted to show you guys, I'm mixing it up a little bit, using some colored pencils, some uh, of these Faber, 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 Castell Gelatos, Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, um, some watercolor ground. This is a paint by Americana. I don't necessarily like it. I wanted a skin tone. I use that was sitting in my box for a long time because this is my favorite. Which that wait a minute, that's this is that the same company? Is this Deco Art too? It is. This is my favorite. So I'm not too sure why those kind of act watery because this one sure doesn't. This is awesome for a skin tone. Um, but I can't find this one. So I looked on Amazon and it was uh, out of stock. So I'm just kind of going through my art supplies and finding what I've had sitting around saying, hey, you know, find out how to use this. You bought it, use it. So anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. If you guys have any comments or questions or things you can show me, tell me, whatever, please leave a comment below. Okay, bye guys.